the surface. Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio YouTube channel. So, sorry I'm breathing so heavy right now, guys. I've been doing some more concrete work on the car. Judging by the thumbnail, you guys already know what I'm doing. So, for you guys that haven't been around the channel for very long, uh, the Dirt to Demos build, I started out by laying the platform inside the car and I poured 500 pounds of concrete underneath the enclosure. Uh, the floor was completely rusted out in this car and I just put fiberglass and metal back in there and then just built a 500 pound, almost 600 pound, um, basically platform, leveled it off and then coated it with uh, two coats of uh, three quarter inch birch on top of it to build the enclosure off of because the floor was completely gone. So I built this, it's gonna be the main seating area right here for the floor. The problem was is that I'm looking at that and I'm going, you know what, I wanna fill that up with two part foam. The problem with two part foam is that a two part foam kit, it's gonna cost about $400 to do that whole bottom base. And I'm like, you know what? This is a budget build. This isn't a big dollar build. Not a big, big dollar build. I granted, I know it's probably more than a lot of people's, but I wasn't gonna spend $400 to put foam underneath that. So, $7 for a bag of concrete. So I got $28 for four bags of concrete. That's another 200 pounds of concrete. And, as you can see, I don't think it's gonna even touch it. I didn't think it was going to because I figured I'd start with 200 and see where it goes from there. But I'm thinking it's probably gonna take closer to probably another 500, well, about 500 pounds in total. She's so fat. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, in all, this car is gonna have a thousand pounds of concrete in it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'd rather spend $28, $30, $60 altogether because this car is not going to be anything but a uh, trailer queen. The more weight I add to this car, the bigger truck I'm going to have to buy the tow it with. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so it's probably going to cost me more money in the long run. But uh, so what I did is that I come in here, I build off the enclosure here. It's got like two by fours run along here and some braces, uh, some L brackets that run along there. It's attached to the bottom, which right behind here, if, I don't know if you can hear that, that's where the concrete's at right there. So it's built up to concrete for right here is built up to here. This concrete would be obviously built up to the bottom of this. But as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't have, I have that much space to fill. And so far that's been two bags right there. And, uh, I think probably maybe four bags over there and four bags over here is what I'm thinking. So I tell you one thing, this car is going to be, if it doesn't rust and completely fall apart, then it's going to be, uh, it's going to be rigid. Uh, at least the bottom of the enclosure. For those of you that don't know, um, extreme cabins and stuff like that inside of demo cars while it makes things louder and it's you know technically it's like oh my god it's so much you know you, you get more of a sensation of a louder bass but for YouTube purposes kind of sucks because you don't see things moving you don't see doors flapping you don't see you guys want to see what I want to see I want to see shit falling apart I want to see mirrors falling off and windows being busted and you know, I want to see tears in the metal. And people are like, oh, you got to fix it. It's all fun and games until you got to fix it. Yeah, I understand that. This car's a piece of shit. I don't care about it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not driving along the road, so I don't care. So, yeah, um, bought more spray foam. Spray foam around the whole bottom of the box. It's PL'd to the floor. Uh, yeah. So, it looks like... That right there, like I said, that is a, that's a, a hundred pounds of concrete and it looks like I could probably stuff at least another, another 
bag in there. So it might get 150 pounds per side. We might end up, well, no, it's 50, yeah, it might end up with another 150 pounds per side. So we might have 600 here, 500 back there. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really care. The whole point of this is just to make it rigid. And so I, I kept the squares I cut out of the floor. I'm gonna put those back in. I will um, glue them back in, fill all the holes. Uh, that screw right there is coming out of the middle. That's just there to keep things from popping up. I'll take that out and then I'll sand that all. And then we're gonna bedline the whole inside of the interior. I think just the front half here is gonna end up with just, I'm just gonna like, uh, we'll do some flat mat or kill mat, whatever you guys call it now. I used to call it, you know, um, whatever, deadener back in the day. I don't know, I forget what the good stuff is nowadays. But we'll just line the floor up front with all that and uh, we'll just line X or spray foam probably raptor liner we'll raptor liner everything else and then do my seats center console stripper pole and we'll call it a day then we'll start throwing subs in it so yeah guys sorry i haven't talked to you guys in a while been busy um did i mention i threw my back out today even worse than what it normally is yeah not a good day to be doing concrete so whew. I've been sweating my butt off. I've got concrete all in there. It's my favorite shirt, too. Oh, well. So, you guys have a great day. I love you guys. I'll try to do another upload whenever I get that completely finished. And then, um, like I said, we'll start throwing um, liner down on that floor. I'll get that done. And, you know, Sean, what are you going to do with the doors? I ain't doing shit with the doors. We're going to let the doors fall apart. And if I have to, I might put one or two layers on the inside of the door panels. If not, I don't really care. As long as that door will open and close, I'm good. And if it won't open and close, tear the panel off, I'll fix it. Put the panel back on, we'll let it fall apart again. So, all right. You guys have an awesome day. I love you guys. I'll see you guys when I get this crap finished. Have a good weekend. Love you guys back.